Hey everybody, Richard here with thewirelesshaven.com. Today, we're looking at our NEX P1 Geo Router. The Wi-Fix NEX P1 Geo Router, when you purchase this, this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a gigabit class Ethernet router. Comes with four gigabit Ethernet ports and one gigabit Ethernet WAN port. It also has a USB 3.0 port on the front. That's for tethering modems too. With our firmware, you can tether a modem. You can use your phone tether. You can use a hotspot. Uh, you can even use a, a modem adapter to USB if you want to use one of the standard modems like the ones that go inside these. This router also takes a cellular modem internally. It does not come with one, but it has a mini PCIe interface for cellular modems. You can put 5G modems into these with the correct adapter. They will fit with the right adapter. We do sell those here on the store, wirelesshaven.com. You can put any mini PCIe modem into here. Most of them have what is included with this router and that is a U.FL antenna connector. The ends here are for cellular connections. This is where your antennas hook up. These are SMA female antenna connectors on each end for the cellular and the router comes with two 700 to 2700 megahertz LTE cellular 5G it's the same thing just frequency is all that matters except for millimeter wave cellular antennas two of them go on each end on the inside U.FL connectors for mini PCIe modems if you need to use a different type of connector like an MHF4 you'll have to replace these two with an SMA female bulkhead to MHF4 to go to M2, M.2 modems, and you'll need to use one of these adapter boards similar to this that converts mini PCIe connections to the M.2 connections. Once you do that, you'll also need to change out these connectors here for the antennas so that the inside has an MHF4 connection for your M.2 modem. You also have dual band Wi Fi. There's four Wi Fi antenna connectors here and it comes with four antennas for your Wi-Fi. These are two different types of antennas here. You've got two 5.X gigahertz, 5.8, I believe 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi. These are SMA style antennas. The connectors, SMA. It also comes with two 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi antennas. These are RP, reverse polarity SMA antenna, and they have the different connectors here, as well as the markings, maybe hard to see on the video, there's markings underneath each one for which one is which. These are the Wi-Fi, four of them, 2x2 two two MIMO, 2.4 gigs, 2x2 two two MIMO, or dual antenna, 5.8 gig, and then comes with two antenna connectors for cellular. Now, if you want to add more to it, you can. There's plenty of real estate on the box here. To drill a quarter inch hole and add another set to for a larger modem like the Category 16 or higher, Category 18, 5G modems even. They usually use four antenna connectors and you can add them to these very easily. It also comes with SIM card adapter kit, a mounting kit if you wanna mount this inside of a case or even on a wall. And it comes with sheetrock anchors to do such a thing. It also comes with a mini PCIe modem hold down screw set as well as a couple little rubber feet. In most cases, sometimes the rubber feet aren't included. These are, but those screws are always included for holding down your mini PCIe modem or your adapter. And it also comes with a category five Ethernet cable for doing basic connections too. You can use this to hook up to your computer. Nothing special on this. It's just for doing your configurations for. If you don't have one, it's very handy to have so that you can configure everything, get your Wi-Fi all set up. And last but not least, 12 volt DC power supply. This is a 2.5 amp power supply. This is good for modems up to category 12, category 16. 2.5 amps should be good enough up to category 16. If you've got really good connectivity on your cell tower and you can get multiple carrier aggregation with category 16, you may want to go with a 4 amp, 3 amp, somewhere like that and higher. We sell 4 amp on the store at thewirelesshaven.com. 2.5 amp though, good enough for category 12 and below. Any modem, category 12 and below, 2.5 amp is plenty. The NEXP1GO router also features 
48 volt DC PoE capability, meaning you can power this router without this, optionally, without this power supply, you can power it via the WAN port for remote installations, installing outside, remove the router board from its case and put it in an outdoor enclosure, and you can power it with 48 volt DC PoE right here into the WAN port. It will not pass it through to the Ethernet ports. It will not power other devices. It takes power in only, only through the WAN port. This is the Wi-Fix NEX P1GO router, gigabit Ethernet cellular gateway router. Remember, this does not come with a modem unless you buy it with a bundle. The motor must be installed inside, 48 volt PoE capable, great for outdoor installations, long-term favorite of many people. This one has our Wi-Fix firmware on it, set up, ready for you to just put your installation of modem inside, put a couple of settings on, be on your way. This is Richard with the Wireless Haven. Thank you.